Hey guys, I want to make a video about seating charts and remembering kids' names. Um, this, this I think was the thing that I was most afraid of when I started being a bus driver because there's 10,000 kids. There's way more than, than there are of you. How am I going to remember other names? You know, some people remember faces, but they forget names. I forget faces and names. I'm just, I just forget. Anyway, so seating chart. What you want to do when you first, your first day that you ride, I want you to have a piece of paper and maybe even, you know, a paper with lines, you know, a professional looking piece of paper. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, here's, okay, well, here's my seating chart. Can you see it? No. This is my seating chart, okay? So it has the lines, but you're not going to use that at first. I should have been prepared. See, I'm like, I'm a bus driver. I'm not a, okay, here we go. So, here's a piece of paper with a bunch of lines. This is actually a very good tool. It says stop, first name, last name, seat number, and a check off for the day. Um, I don't know how good you saw that. My phone was backwards. So, just use your imagination if you couldn't see it that well. So, at your first stop, when those kids are lining up to get, you say, okay, what's your name? What grade are you in? Are you, you know, if you want to ask them what grade they're in, ask them whatever you want. But, you know, the more questions and stuff, the more information you get from them, the longer you're at that stop. But ask them, what is your name? And if you can't hear them, my thing is, I can't really hear them very good. You know, the engine's loud, and especially elementary kids, they, they talk like this. You can't hear them. They, they, it's, like they, it's like they're afraid, okay? So don't be afraid to say, how do you spell it? Or what? What's your name? I need your name. What's your name? Okay, you don't want to threaten their life, but just get their name. Okay? And the same kids that ride the first couple of days, a lot of them are probably going to drop off. You're going to get new ones, different ones, whatever. But start that way. Every child that gets on that bus, write their name down. Okay? do that every day and what stop write their stop okay i'm at fillmore and lova whatever and at fillmore and lova these are the kids that got on here and then at your next stop you know your next stop is fillmore and bumblebee so fillmore and bumblebee i have these kids that get on okay you do that every day and then you'll learn their names that is that is a great way to remember names because you're going to start remembering as you learn your route you're going to remember the kit their faces that get on at that stop and then you're going to start clicking the names you're going to start remembering so that's a really good tool okay so and I'll do that for a long time you know I, I'm just terrible with names so now you know their names now you're getting their names and then you have about a good count of who rides your or how many kids ride your bus um, at our district we have to have a seating chart if we get in an accident it's the first thing that the cops gonna ask for so I make sure to always have my seating chart ready because if you get in an accident you're not gonna want to be like oh my gosh my kids are sitting all over the bus I have no idea who's where that's um that's not a good idea you want to be prepared and also I think that a seating chart helps your kids act better not always so anyway with a seating chart you can make it or you can have the kids make it it depends on the behavior of your kids um, but you can have a little seating chart paper like like I do. You know, I, I like this with elementary. I like to sit brothers and sisters together if I can. Um, I try to sit girls with girls, boys with boys, littles with littles. Sometimes you have 10,000 kids and you have to sit some little ones with big ones just to make room. It's like a puzzle. Um, and that's another thing you're going to run into is uh, one thing that's hard about a seating chart is 
you have some kids that ride every day and then you have some kids that ride once a month so you don't have enough seats for all the kids but every day they don't all ride so when you fill up your entire seating chart where where do the other kids go okay so this is stressful this is what I do for the kids that only ride once a month or don't ride very often I don't give them a seating chart I make them get on last and not the kids that ride every single day they go to their seats and then um, so everyone's sitting down the kids that have a seating chart and then the other kids get on and I'm like okay go sit with a friend go sit with a boy or a girl if you're a boy or girl or an empty seat so there's always gonna be a place for them to sit or figure out where to sit um, that's what that's what I do I'm I'm not saying that that's the best way but that's what I found to be best for me because I'm always stressing about where's everyone gonna sit in a perfect world every student would have a seat and that's where they would sit every time they ride it just doesn't work that way when you have three to a seat and every single seat and then you still have extra kids and you don't know where to put them you know so you 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 make a seating chart like that where there's four to a seat but then you actually look in reality you look on your bus and there's two or three empty seats and four or five seats with four kids in them so then you, it's like okay just sit over here just move over here so you guys aren't so squished um, so that's what I do and then you can do the seating chart like that you know um, just okay wherever you're sitting I'm gonna write your number and then you call names and then you write the number down so on my seating chart okay so I have Aaron okay so I'm still learning names right so Aaron raise your hand and then he raises his hand what seat are you in 16 okay so I write 16 Michael what seat are you in he tells me Anthony what seat are you in he tells me um, that's kind of a quick way to do it um, and I have I have a monitor for my elementary route so she oh she's a big help she's a real big help because while I'm driving she can actually look around if you have a monitor and she can help with the seating chart that's a really big help but a lot of us don't have monitors um, on my other routes I, I did on myself high school they pretty much make their own seating chart as long as they behave they naturally kind of sit in the same spot all the time anyway but so then you just write the numbers they're in and say that's your seat just stay sitting there every day junior high uh, junior high tend to be in my opinion the the worst behaved they uh, you know they're in between teenager and child so you know they they get really hyper a lot of them try to be cool they try to challenge you I mean you get that with all the ages so if your kids aren't behaving on the bus then it's time for you to make the seating chart they had their chance right for me it's like okay you guys made your seating chart I worked with it but it's not working you guys are giving me a hard time or y'all aren't behaving or what have you whether you have to separate a couple seats or if you have to do the whole bus which is what I had to do I had to overhaul my entire route so what I did was um, I sat the troublemakers away from each other I separated them as much as I could throughout the bus you know evenly distribute them throughout the bus so they're not sitting next to each other and I also sat I didn't sit anybody with their friend oh they were mad at me but you got to get this bus under control um, nobody sat with their friend and a lot of times I sat a, a really good quiet kid with one of the troublemakers because they just they either talk quietly or they don't talk at all you know they want to sit with their friends and they want to act up and I would tell you know sorry some of you guys are having to suffer because some of these kids don't know how to behave once you guys know how to behave then we can change the seating chart again but y'all are out of control and this is your seat until you guys know how to behave on the bus that's what I do um, 
And the, you know, the, there's an old saying in the bus driver world that you'll, I don't know if it's a saying, but you'll learn the troublemakers' names first, always. You'll always learn their names first. And it's sad because, you know, the kids that act good, that are quiet, that sit there and read or sleep, you know, it, it's, it's sad that they have to suffer because, you know, you have five that don't know how to behave. But, you know, I feel like these things work for me, but I don't know all the answers. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Send them in the comments. Uh, write your suggestions or what you actually do with your kids. But for you new drivers, I hope this helps. Um, I feel like they help me, especially with me not being able to remember names very good. But God bless, guys. Have a good day.